like you know how this goes I'm gonna ruin it That's okay, <laughs> if you do, I don't care Good? Yep. What's up everybody, welcome back to Artist Alley My name is John Davis And on this show we like to take a look at Basically interesting people from Knoxville That kind of eschewed the 9 to 5 Whether it be artists, musicians independent business owners, basically that people, basically people that kind of made their own way in the world and didn't want to just stick to the nine to five. And we're actually celebrating because the air conditioner just went off and it worked. It's great. Uh, but with us today, we have Red Darty Hello. and Colleen Delilio. 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 I said it like four <laughs> times. You, know, you called that. You're the worst. Delilio works. Okay. Delilio. 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 Yes. I said it like seven times before and I ruined it this one. I'm the worst. Uh, but all right. And they are in a band called Red, named after you. Oh, you. Okay. Sorry. Uh, sorry. Half attempt at comedy. I'm not very funny. Uh, yeah. No. Yeah. It was reason. It was supposed to be terrible. All right. Uh, so first of all, just going to say what's up. How you guys doing? What's going on? I think we're probably tired today. Oh, yeah. A little bit. Yeah. We played a show in Atlanta last night, which was awesome. Yes. Um, it was our first So Far Sounds really show. It was, really it, was it was really fun. Um, and we it was a teeny set, but the crowd was extremely attentive. It was awesome. Nice. Yes. We got in about the same time you got in last night from your show. Yeah. I'm like, talk about that. Yeah. Like, Three o'clock in the morning. Yes. Yeah, I'm so exhausted. Yes, same, same. <laughs> I'm, I'm, running on, I'm running on fumes and peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That's good. <laughs> yes. Stuff. yes. There's magic in peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Yes. Oh, yeah. But yeah, it, like you said, it's definitely worth it. Because, I mean, it, hearing the crowd and everything last night was just oh, yeah. absolutely amazing. Yes. There's, like, I don't do drugs, but I don't think there's any other high that's, like, as good as that. Especially mm -hmm. at Scruffy. Yeah, so, at Scruffy City Hall, which was our first time playing here. That's awesome. So that was dope. Yes. Um, all right. So we're going to ask you guys a couple weird, interesting questions that just kind of throw you off, make you guys think about them. I love it. Okay. So you're good, dude. So Red, number yes. one, what is the best compliment you have ever received? Um, well, I guess recently – one of one of the best compliments I ever received is I was wearing a funky sweater and they weren't really bell bottoms but they were like brown pants and somebody said I looked like Donna from that '70s show because my hair was straight and I was just like I'm gonna live in that yeah that's <laughs> so, what I say that's a yeah, that's a livable that. compliment yeah I was like okay I'll take that yeah all right so, yes <laughs> Colleen yes yeah okay. okay. Sorry, guys, we have one mic <laughs> for the guests. We don't usually have two people. All but good. we're making exceptions, and we're making it work. I snuck my way in here. Yeah, yeah she yeah. slipped right in. She doesn't even have a stool. She brought her I own. Have That's how she works. From my parents. I'd be here. I'd be here. Okay. Question one to you. What is the title of your memoir? Of my memoir? Ooh. Oh, gosh. Um... <laughs> wow, I'm this is I'm really on the spot. I'm happy I didn't Isn't get that question. <laughs> that, when, when we uh, thought it was just going to be you, that question was on yours. <laughs> I had to take a question um, off, so I gave it to her. Man, something about having ADHD and being a musician. Because that's <laughs> is that the title? Like. Something about ADHD and being a musician. <laughs> <laughs> I feel from, from your lack of answer right now. I feel like that'd be pretty apt. I'll think of later. <laughs> Placeholder. Fill in later. Yeah, exactly. TBD. TBD. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Absolutely perfect. Okay, now it's on you. So, what is the most recent app you have opened on your phone? Mind Body. Um, I'm trying to do yoga to. Calm down my ginger rage. I've heard rumor of this ginger rage about 15 minutes ago. Yeah, I don't like traffic, so <laughs> I need something to help with that. <laughs> so Were you my, meditating in traffic? No, I was not. That's part of the problem. Oh, I think yes, she was yes, raging yes. in traffic. Right, I was yeah. raging in I traffic. I told her to, on the phone, I was like, rage safely, please. And I was just like, I will, I will. Yes, the rage is real. <laughs> so, mind, body, yoga. All right, cool. All right. Colleen? 
Yes. What is the biggest mistake that you have made that turned out completely okay? Oh, um, so let's say, I don't know if this is, counts as a mistake, although I've made a lot of mistakes, that's for sure. I'm not saying that I don't make mistakes, but in college, I majored in music and I was like, I want to have a performance degree because I don't want to study music education. That's like not my jam. Although I love private teaching, I'm on a rant now. Um, but, uh, I was not really looking into the weird degree that my school had. That was like a combination, like outside field thing. And then, um, my teacher was like, you should do this with writing instead. And I was like, okay, I'll try it. And then I loved it and it was awesome. awesome. And it was like the best possible degree for me. So like, if I had just taken somebody's advice right up the bat, instead of like, trying to make myself fit into a degree that wasn't really right for me. Yeah. Yeah. That worked out so much for the better. Hey. I think it was awesome. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going to say. No, no Watch worries. out. One second. Yeah, you're good. Go ahead. Oh, you're good. Sorry, sir. Thank you. Yeah. I feel like that wasn't a very good answer. I'm sorry. No, no. That was a good answer. Really I mean, answer. at the time, you thought it was a mistake because you didn't want to do it. Yeah. But it turned out okay because you actually loved it. Like, yeah. yeah. You can make a little montage of the... Oh, we don't, we don't edit this out. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We're, we're in an alley. Like, this is that's the point perfect. of it. That's awesome. Yeah. All right. Back to red. That was a beautiful answer. Like I said, I liked it because at the time you thought it was a mistake, but yeah. it turned out to be something you loved. Yeah. It's beautiful. That's awesome. Also, I love this microphone. Oh, so I have a question for you yes. and you're not getting it. Okay. I'm going to give it to her because we know the, we the know, we, okay. we know the answer. Okay. You mean to pass this back? No, no, no. This okay. is still, it's still going to be you. Okay. What is your favorite fairy tale? Oh my gosh. Favorite fairy tale. Okay. I haven't thought about this for years. Um, like, does it, I don't know what constitutes like a fairy tale. Is it like most things are like Disney now that were fairy tales, whatever you want. I don't I know. read comic books. Comic books are fairy tales. I guess my favorite fairy tale is, I don't, I don't know anything where the lady saves herself. Like, I don't okay, like, like, Mulan, like, yeah, 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 yeah. like any, any of those kinds of stories where it's just like girl power all the way. Yeah. Um, I, I love those kinds of stories. So I get it. Yeah. They're, I mean, they're, they're fantastic stories. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Like Mulan, um, the other ones, I mean, you know, there's yeah. just so many, the other ones. there's like, so many, it's all, you know, there's also <laughs> the, other one, the other ones and that one, like the, like the Swan princess. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of one of those where she's just like, Hey, I love myself more than you probably love me. I'm going to go and do my own things. So I love yeah. this. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Cool. I have fairy tales that I like. What do you like? Um, Go ahead. Well, along those lines, the paper bag princess, do you ever read that book? Cool. It's like a children's book. Paper bag princess, check it out. It's like a princess that wears a paper bag and like fights a dragon, and it's it's great. Um, Remind me of that because I'm gonna write that down later. That sounds awesome. Another recommendation: one of the books that I had to get, um, which funny story, accidentally ended up on the textbook list for a nutrition class, but it should not have been because <laughs> the title is um, "My Father He Killed Me, My Mother She Ate Me," and that ended up in a nutrition. <laughs> Class. class which is not it's fairy tales but it's um like darker perspective fairy okay. tales um, all right yeah so your former question now colleen's question <laughs> what is the quickest way to get you angry <laughs> oh um <laughs> it doesn't take a whole lot to, make to get you angry, angry? You're so yeah calm. yeah i'm gonna say you seem so chill she is thank calm. you she's the calm one in the band she's the knowledgeable one in the band i feel like that's true Oh, yes. Well, so I work customer service. So it's like oh, yeah. my favorite way to make angry people angry is to not let it affect me. Because I'm like, you're going to have a bad day and that's your fault. I can't do that. Go for it. Enjoy being miserable. But um, I think if somebody is, one, underestimating me or two... Um, underestimating my friends or being so, rude to my friends. You're good, man. So we apologize. 
we knew what we were doing doing this here. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, being underestimated. Oh yeah, like I, or if I get someone's it. Someone's being rude to my friends. That's a no go for me. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm like a combination of both of y'all. Really? I have road rage so bad. My <laughs> wife barely drives rides with me anymore. You're good. Um, and I hate like being underestimated, and I, yeah. I, I hate it when like my friends. I will call my friends the worst things on the planet. But if anybody else says anything about my friends, like I'm grabbing the baseball bat out of the trunk. Yeah. Like, <laughs> all right. So we we're down to the final two questions. You guys made it through those. So second question first, who would win in a fight between Smokey the Bear and McGruff the Crime Dog? Oh my God. I definitely think Smokey the Bear. Smokey. Yeah. <sighs> You guys are killing me. I, Smokey Mc, would Smokey totally win. McGruff is an inner city cop from the hard streets of wherever he's from. Which is exactly why he wouldn't win. Oh. What? He has a gun. I don't care. <laughs> I can't say certain things probably on your podcast. So I'm going to go with a gruffy bear. You can say whatever you want. Do you just say McGruff the bear? You the, broke the, the gruffy. The gruffy bear. Uh, yeah, the gruffy, smoky. scruffy bear. The yeah. The gruffy, scruffy, smoky. Yes, the bear. Smoky Bear's going to win. Yeah, bear's going to win. You know, all right. I don't want to push any further. I, I, I don't want to push any harder. I feel like... I wouldn't. Yeah, I was going to say... I wouldn't. I don't. I don't. I don't want to see that ginger rage. I mean, I, I, I can't. I can't deal with it. I, I would just embarrass myself. <laughs> all right. So we are on to the last question. But before we get to that... I'm going to throw it to this camera right here, and you guys go ahead, look at that camera, give your socials, any upcoming shows, basically whatever have you. If you guys have other bands you want to promote as well, um, looking at you. We, uh, <laughs> so we're the band Red, R-E-D-D, uh, and our socials, please give us a follow on Instagram. Also, you can hear me now. This is great. Um, our Instagram is <laughs> at R-E-D-D dot music. Come listen to us. Do we have any shows coming up? The next one is actually, um, are we doing the six o'clock swerve? We're doing the six o'clock swerve. Six o'clock swerve at Barley's. The and 29th. Possibly Jig and Reel. Jig and Reel the 30th. Jig and Reel the 30th. Yep, with Zach Miles. Zach will be, uh, be fun. yeah, it's going to be really cool. And Colleen also has her own band. <laughs> um, <laughs> Tell us about Instagram your Instagram is, I'm most active on Instagram. It's stranger.may.music. Um, I play solo as Stranger May, um, but also sometimes with Katie, our bassist, as a duo, um, sometimes with more people. It's an amorphous blob of a band name. <laughs> yes. But uh, <laughs> yeah, stranger.may.music. It's me. Awesome. Fantastic. Go check them out. Look up all their socials, buy all their merch, go see all their shows, sing every song with them, and hang out because they are legitimately fantastic people. Thank you. So the last song, or last song. Last song. Uh, last uh, song. I'm, I'm still in from last night, last man. Same. <laughs> last question for you two. What is the best piece of advice you have ever gotten about anything? It could be life, music, love, whatever have you. Do you have something? I have something. I, I would need to, I don't know if it's the best, but I have a good piece of advice from, from two pieces of advice from my dad. One is the time to be young and stupid is when you're young and stupid. So I like, I don't know if you need to take a moment in your life to just sleep on people's couches and figure out what you want. That's totally fine. Yeah. Like, you don't need to do what other people are telling you you need to do. You don't need to go to school if you don't want to, things like that. Um, and then the other one is a bunch of people have said it. I, I don't know if it originated from the Beatles. I'm not sure. But the kiss method, keep it simple, stupid. Wow. I just realized that there's the word stupid in both of my pieces of advice, but <laughs> so that's a negative. But yeah, it doesn't, don't overcomplicate things. If yeah. it works, it works. Those are really good. Mine, I guess mine kind of falls within that. Mine is life is hard and then you die. Yeah. Um, so you need to spend all of your time doing things to make you happy. Like, you know, it's going to be hard regardless of where you turn down the road. Um, and in between those hard times, you need to be happy. So I love a quote. I believe it's from Voltaire. Mm -hmm. It's um, somebody asked him or somebody just said around him, oh, life is hard. 
And he said, compared to what? Yeah. Mm. You know, I love, uh, I, I love that too. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. awesome. But all right, that is it. Uh, you guys survived. Uh, we do have one more little piece of uh, stuff to hit. Yeah. Alex is handing me the Sharpies. You guys need okay. to sign the stool. Okay, let's oh, do cool. it. And that is it. Pick whichever color you want. Doesn't matter to us. All right. That is it from Artist Alley. Yeah. For the interview segment of Artist Alley, they are actually going to perform a song here in just a minute. So be right back. Ladies and gentlemen. 